This number could be even messier than it has been. So what inside are you specifically looking for to give you any kind of clarity? So wait, so you're you're not a fan of the jobs report just these days? <laughs> I feel like I'm never a fan of the well, jobs report. Well, I never. Uh, I, honestly, Tom, I, 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 we make a big deal. I never have been. I like the jolts. Yeah. I like hiring. I like the jolts number better. But that said, it does still matter. Yeah, of course. I mean, we always have to pay attention to it. Uh, but I, I, I would say I'm, I'm almost never a fan of this report. I mean, I, I just think it's, you know, it, it tends to be, and I think you're right, it's going to be sloppy this, this month, but I think it tends to be sloppy almost every month. Um, there, there's just a ton of moving parts, and, you know, people always want it to be simple. You know, they want to say, hey, good report or bad report. But the reality is, if there's so many moving parts, it's just not that simple to basically say, hey, it is a good or a bad report. Um, a anyway, all that aside, um, yeah, so we do think that you have some uh, census workers that are, are uh, still uh, about to fall off. I mean, all that basically means is that these then just focus on the, 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 the private uh, hiring. Um, and private hiring will come in pretty, pretty decent. We're looking for about 500,000. Um, you know, that'll be one of the uh, slower paces of growth um, that we've seen. Um, from a uh, from a, a private hiring perspective, uh, really since the recovery started, but still, um, uh, you know, the the sort of the jobless claims data are, are pretty consistent with that. We think as we're yeah. moving to December, um, uh, you know, the sort of the the, the 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 next report after this, you know, it could that could even be sloppier. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, jobless claims. We saw this little tick up uh, over the prior two weeks. It seems to have stabilized uh, in the most recent week. Um, but we have to be cognizant that with governments, you know, sort of scaling back business, it's entirely pl possible that, that, that you see, a, 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 you know, sort of an even slower rate of growth next month. We look ahead, though. Are you, are, are you in this sort of roaring 21s camp second half of next year and a 22 <laughs> could be a boom time? So l l let me say it this way. I, I think that it's very it, – it's like not a far-fetched idea to think that you can have – uh, you know, outrageously strong growth in, in 21. And, and, and I'll talk about that in a second. But I think what we have to keep in mind is how sustainable is that? And, 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 and that's, I think, where, you know, we would sort of temper expectations um, as sort of beyond 21. But as I think about 21, I mean, look, the pieces are in place for 21 to um, uh, have, a, have a really good year. Uh, obviously, this is all built around the idea that, you know, the, the vast vaccine distribution uh, goes, you know, relatively smoothly. Um, it actually does make its way um, into the marketplace, et cetera. And if that happens, you have to keep in mind yeah. that the consumer, there's so much pent up demand from a consumer perspective. And the thing is, if they want to take advantage of that in a feel good environment yeah. where the vaccine is coming about, et cetera, they have the they, they have the stockpile to be able to do that. And that is in the way of saving. Right. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.